Hey YouTubers, listen, here is just another example of uh, Luminar 4 and its ability to actually do things very quickly but well. I mean, there's a lot of softwares out there that do stuff quickly and well, but I just wanted to show you a thing called Sky Replacement, which is pretty darn good. Uh, therefore, I just want to show you the picture that we're looking at right now is a uh, photo of Christina. She is laying in front of the city of Montreal. You can see the Ferris wheel in the back. Right here is Place Ville Marie. I miss Montreal. I wish I could go back. Uh, therefore, I just want to show you what I have already done. These are a couple of initial edits that I did within Photoshop. I added some brightness to her face so we could see her a bit better. And I also flattened my layer. Now, let's just take that layer out. I just want to show you what, I, this is basically the sum of all edits. What I do here is I go shift control alt E and I create a new flattened layer and I call that luminar for sky, let's say. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll go into filter uh, Skylum software and down at the bottom here at luminar 4. Luminar will now export the whole photo and bring it into the luminar environment. Remember, luminar is a standalone software as well. It's just that I am a professional and there's certain things I just have to do in Photoshop. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that right away uh, that I personally use it as a plugin and it is a beautiful plugin to have. There's not a lot happening in the sky here. It's a bit boring. I mean, it's nice. Uh, if this was a website uh, photo, I would not ask for better because I could be put text in here and it would look really great. So what we're gonna do is try to do something with this guy to make it a bit better. So we go into creative panel right here. And in the creative panel, the very first panel at the top is called AI Sky Replacement. And the name is exactly what it does. It replaces the sky, it takes the sky, puts in a new sky. Now, very simple. From here, all you do is you go down to sky selection and you have all kinds of different skies. Let's just take dramatic sky for the hell of it and see what happens. And there it is. Now it's added the sky in and it's actually gone and selected the city and it's done a pretty darn good job. <laughs> this is a bit ridiculous though. <laughs> Obviously, let's see if we can find something that's a bit more subtle. Let's go to blue sky two. Let's say blue sky two. That makes a bit more sense and looks a bit better. What is really amazing about this little software is that it'll actually go change the light on the subject to fit what is happening with the sky above it. So if you go for something, let's say, I'm gonna just go, go for something for the hell of it, sunset. As you can see, it works on changing the sky and making a sunset, but at the same time, the lighting on Christina has changed to be more of a golden hour look. We'll go through different ones, sunset one, sunset two. Now pay attention to the subject and not necessarily the sky. Sunset clouds. If you look very carefully, you can see a lot of stuff happening to her underneath as we change. More grayish, she becomes a bit more grayish. Remember that you can go into advanced settings here and you can play with a couple of uh, settings like close gaps, which will play with uh, the border between your sky and your background uh, so that you can get a, a better shot. Remember, you always have masks to do that as well. You'll see that the people at Illuminar also added some other great settings. If you go into advanced setting here, uh, you can do a couple of things like close gaps, which takes care of uh, border situations between the sky and the background in the back to make sure everything fits. Remember, you always have masks over here that you can play with. You can play with your mask and uh, get rid of the uh, sky in certain spots as well. Now, uh, you also have sky defocus. In my case, uh, now you see the sky is pretty well, uh, if I put this like this, it's pretty well in focus. Uh, uh, Luminar also automatically adjusts the defocus that it thinks might work, but you might want to bring that focus a bit higher to make sure it matches the defocus of your background. And here we go, if I put that up. And you can play with it and be creative as well and make it really out of focus in the back to separate your subject. Uh, I like to keep it as real as possible. 
Uh, again, there's landscape exposure and landscape contrast. I don't really have to tell you guys what to do with those. But that is what I wanted to say about sky replacement and how well it does its job. Uh, now, after I have done what I have to do, I always press apply. When I press apply, it exports my image into Photoshop. So here is my image as a layer. If I take that layer out and mute it, we're back to the original Photoshop uh, picture. So I bring it in. I use my mask. I can uh, play with my uh, fill opacity, bring that down and bring the sky in just a bit. And that's what's a lot of fun is that I can also mask. I can just invert the layer completely and then paint in where I want this sky to come in a bit less. Uh, there you go. You can bring the sky in a tiny bit. Now, this might be a bit less uh, applicable on this subject. You might want to just uh, make sure that... Uh, let me just throw away that mask. Cancel. Gotta get rid of that mask. Get rid of the layer. There we go. I just got rid of the layer. And you can bring that in like that. So you can play with various different things. And remember that uh, Luminar is... Uh, intelligent and brings the light onto your subject to match what the sky is emanating which makes your photo just that much more realistic remember that i do have the code and the link down in the description all you got to do click that link and then after that when you go to purchase make sure you put in my discount code and it will give you an additional ten dollars off your purchase you guys thank you for watching like share subscribe and don't forget everybody keep on making something from nothing